Hey y'all, it's Kay from The Literary Apothecary and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Bibliotherapy Sunday. Today we're going to be talking about Middle March by George Eliot. This was a buddy read with my friend Stephanie and Tiffany and it was a very elongated buddy read but it was so worth it. This was a bibliotherapy recommendation from The Novel Cure for being stuck in the wrong marriage or being stuck in a marriage with the wrong person and y'all this book was the perfect book for this ailment there are so many wrong marriages in this book so many times so many marriages with the wrong people matched up um which is unique in regency romance books like this um because a lot of times especially in like jane austen books by the end of the book, you see that everyone is matched up to who they should be. But in this book, there are some marriages that work, and but for the most part, most of the marriages don't work on certain levels and they're just the wrong people matched up together. And Middle March, the community is such a big community that you can almost play matchmaker while you're reading it because there are so many different players, so many different people moving around and interacting with each other. You can see who would be good matches for each other and who wouldn't be good matches. And it's a perfect book for kind of becoming a matchmaker in itself. Um, I gave this book four out of five stars. I There was a lot going on with a lot of characters and it seemed like everyone was doing something with someone else. So it was really hard to keep track of at times and just a lot to keep track of in general. Um, but George Eliot had incredible world building here. Now I know we often use that word in say fantasy or science fiction, but seeing the depth and the breadth of the Middlemarch community, I definitely ascribe world building to George Eliot because this was a you know small community of Middlemarch but it felt like an entire world because there was so much happening in it. Now as to my favorite character I'm not sure if I actually have a favorite character but I definitely have some least favorite characters. This includes Raffles, which in our little buddy read chat, we've nicknamed him Snuffles because I just kept on imagining his name as Snuffles for whatever reason. And as I read his character, all I could imagine was the fox from Pinocchio that lured Pinocchio to um, Pleasure Island, which by the way, that scene in the animated movie terrified me as a kid. Um, so in our little group chat, Raffles has been renamed Snuffles the Fox from Pinocchio. Um, also, another character that I just did not like at all was Ladislaw. He wasn't necessarily a bad character per se, but the characterization that we got of him, especially from the start from our first introduction of him, just made it seem like we could never trust this guy fully. And so every time he was on the page, I just had a sense of unease when I was reading his character. Some of my favorite quotes from Middlemarch, I've got just a couple, but it was such an amazing book that I had to, I couldn't narrow it down to just one. Souls have complexions too. What will suit one will not suit another, which is, you know, so true. Um, by the end of Mr. Brooks' pen was a thinking organ evolving sentences, especially of a benevolent, which I love that word, benevolent kind, before the rest of his mind could well overtake them. And if y'all have ever written and your pen just took over, you know exactly, you're like writing stuff before your brain could even think of it. You know exactly what that's talking about. And then the last quote that I have, as he sat there and beheld the enemy of his peace going irrevocably into silence. That phrase just for whatever reason gave me the shivers, the goosebumps, and I love it. So that is my bibliotherapy review for Middle March. I gave it four out of five stars. Well worth the read. Definitely glad I read it. Definitely glad I buddy read it too because I don't know if I would have gotten through it if I didn't buddy read it. Um, and I think one of those books that will definitely benefit from a reread someday. 
If you've read Middle March by George Eliot, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this book. Who is your favorite? Who is your least favorite character? What are your favorite quotes? What was your favorite moment? Um, as always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.